So this video is for anyone who's working from home a lot more lately, like me, and wanted to create a desk riser for either a standing desk or just to get your monitor at the right height. And I made this purely from off cuts. Anyway, keep on watching to see how I do it. So since altering my treadmill desk for my second treadmill, I've been crudely propping up my laptop on some structural timber offcuts. And I thought it would be even better if my laptop was at eye level so I could more or less keep my neck still for posture as I walked. And I wanted something that I could make quickly, simply, and only using offcuts. Also, as a disclaimer, the tools that you're about to see, I have been paid to write an honest review over at my blog. I'll leave a link below. And that was to test the new Axis Jigsaw and Reciprocating Saw by Works. So I thought I'd test it on a project, including their slide driver with a screw holder and their compact work saw. And deep down, I've always wanted one of these ever since seeing the YouTuber Mr. Jeffrey Smith use one in loads of his projects. When I first saw this, I'd never used any circular saw before and its miniature version looked far less intimidating. But I'll talk about how I got on with them as I go along and how you can enter a giveaway to win all three. So don't laugh, but this was my makeshift workbench since right now most of my favourite tools are trapped at my parents' bungalow project. And after doing some tool tests on offcuts as I always do, I started cutting my side panels. I first tried it with the jigsaw out of curiosity, although that's not a tool that's great for straight lines anyway. And then I tried with the compact saw. And I immediately loved how lightweight and easy this was to use. And I thought I'd cut Jeffrey style by not setting a fence up. And there's a V guide at the front that I just matched up with a pencil line and followed along with. Normally I'd be obsessive down to the millimetre, but I was so impressed I didn't set up a guide or even the track provided once. And because I always use a second monitor at my desk, I'm now working out whether the length of the top would obscure my view. By the way, in that review blog post below is also a free set of plans if you want to follow along. Then I cut it down to length. There's also a laser guide on this, but because it was such a bright day, I struggled to see it. But if you're working indoors a lot, like I don't, then I know it works all right. And my offcuts weren't the same depth. So I held the side panels behind the top piece drew along with a pencil and cut it down to size. Something I also noticed is that it allows you to trim off the smallest amount. With my usual circular saw, the fence won't stay open on anything that's five mil or less. And it also cuts wood up to 27 mil thickness. It's perfect for cutting sheet material. But when it came to the top, I wanted to create a curved design. Initially, I had plans to cut a hole in the top to store my coffee flask, but getting my laptop at eye level was far more important and my flask was too long. And after drawing around some bowls for a curved edge, I used the axis jigsaw function again. Now I do love the fact that it's also a reciprocating saw, but there's just one thing that I missed from the jigsaw function and that's having some sort of marker reference in the middle so I can line it up with my pencil marks. However, with the second curve, I just eyeballed the centre point of the jigsaw and it was accurate, but you just get used to having certain features on your favourite tools. I did miss it not being there. Then I sanded my cut edges smooth. If you've got a palm sander, that's even better. And with my new curve, it also meant one of the side panels couldn't go to the very end of the top shelf. And once I'd measured the distance in between, I cut another piece and this would be my middle shelf. And to position them, I just drew dead centre of the side panels using a carpenter square. Then put the whole thing together with corner brackets using that slide driver. And the key things I love about this, not only does it hold screws for you, which is very handy if you need a free hand, but it also has two cartridges inside with screwdriver bits. And one of them is a small drill bit. And I was able to swap them around and position it next to the drill bit so every time I wanted to change back and forth, it was so easy and I didn't have to carry around another combi drill with a drill bit set up. And this would have been very handy when we plasterboarded the ceiling in the garage conversion the other week. But the only thing is, there's no light to indicate whether the battery is low, so it's probably a good idea to have a combi drill nearby just in case and chargers with a USB cable. I and mean, you might notice that second corner bracket that I used, I would have been so much better clamping the whole piece together than screwing it. But I'm using limited tools here. 
also I knew I'd be painting over the whole piece for quickness. The other thing is, with this being plywood, if you wanted to just danish all the top and paint the bottom, then you're probably best designing the top with some overhang. And as I got close to finishing it, I hand sanded everything with 120 grit sandpaper. And to match my treadmill desk, I also went over the top edge with my 45 degree chamfer router bit. And this paint, it can be a bit patchy at times, but I just love how you don't have to do any prep. It's really hard wearing. One coat tends to do, and you don't even have to seal it. But just quickly talking about the reciprocating saw on the axis, which I never used on this project. It's particularly good for cutting up woods like pallet wood, which I know can be a pain. But it also has a pruning blade, which we tested out on our plum tree. And it was quite nifty. So don't forget, if you head over to my blog post below, you'll find a free set of plans. And if you want a chance to win all three of the works tools, by the way, I didn't mention they were cordless, but obviously they're cordless. Um, I'll leave a link to the Instagram um, competition that'll be running for a week. And uh, yeah, unfortunately it's only available to those in the UK. Anyway, I'm gonna get cracking back to work. All right, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.